Rafa Nadal. Rafa. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> something under your chair there for you. So I'm going to give you the cards and this time we are doing everything themed around the clay court swing. So this is which player European clay themed. All right, so who's most likely to be in a gladiator fight? Rafa Nadal. Rafa. Why? Why? Unreal competitor, and I think the guy will just find a way to get it done in the in the fight. Cam Norrie said the same thing. Yeah, I think there's going to be a few of the same answers, to be honest. I mean, he never gives up. He fights until the end of the last point, last moment, and I feel like he's the biggest fighter on tour. Oh, that's incredible! I think Novak. I've seen him with, uh, I think, Gerard Butler, and uh, they are have this uh, scream together where. Uh, uh, about uh, Sparta, uh, that the movie that we played, and I think it's quite funny. This is Sparta! <laughs> pizza. Oh, the most pizza. Me. I'm confident in my abilities on this one. Kevin Kravitz. He loves food so much. I mean, you can kind of see it, but he's so, he loves food so much, it's a joke. Matteo Bertini. He is from Rome, and I'm sure he enjoys Italian food. What I mean when I say that I'm from Italy is that I love, obviously, pizza and pasta. Fatko's gonna, like, prepare a pizza, then I would say Yannick. He's a good chef, so, and he's Italian, so. Uh, Raglio Palca. I've seen how much that guy consumes, and it's, it's crazy, so. And I miss him. I, I haven't seen him on the tour for a while and hope he, he gets back soon. I'm sure he's eating a lot of pizza at home. Real Madrid, Madrid plus one. Um, that's Rafa Nadal again. Probably Rafa. I mean, he's obviously a big fan. Favorite club in the world for him and he gets very emotional, so it would be very entertaining to watch it with him. And I'm sure he could hook us up with good tickets as well. I'll go with Grigor. Grigor. Who be hooker? Well, I guess I'll bring Grigor there. It's gonna be G. Grigor. Best VIP suite with Grigor, so we'll go with G there. <laughs> tapas <laughs> chef. Which player I would trust to make a good tapas? Um, who can cook? I will definitely have to be a Spanish, Spanish player. Tapas is Spanish, right? It is. Yeah. Fokina. Yeah, he likes to cook, doesn't he? Yeah, como sabréis, alguno of mis hobbies cocinar. No idea. I think he's... Maybe Roberto Batista a good. He's got a family, so maybe he cooks for them. I'm gonna go with uh, Pedro Martinez. He's pretty Spanish, and I reckon he would he would know what to do. A good friend of mine, John Mamunar, Spanish player. He's good with food. He gave me a lot of good tips before, and uh, I'm sure he could cook up some good tapas. My mum. Yeah, but player. <laughs> I'm going to go with Fabio Fognini. I have no idea why, but I feel like he can cook. He looks like he can cook. All right, next one. All right, poker face. Which player has the best poker face? It's a good question. Uh, not Murray. Uh... <laughs> Certainly not Andre. Robles would be a very bad poker player. <laughs> He'd be terrible. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel Medvedev's got a pretty good... Daniel has a good poker face. Doesn't look like he almost cares. He's just like the same. He'll win a huge match or a huge tournament and literally just like... Daniel Medvedev is the Nito ATP Finals champion. Tosses the ball behind him and no celebration, nothing. I love it. I'd say Yannick could yeah. be. Yeah, Yannick could be, could be a good one. Monaco Grand Prix plus one. Well, I mean, too bad it's during French Open. Well, I've actually been to the Monaco Grand Prix with Marcelo Melo, which was fun, but uh, probably Hubi Hurkacz. He's a massive S1, F1 fan, same as me, so that'll be fun, I think. I would say maybe Yannick. I would like to be on a, watching on a yacht with Tommy Paul. That'll be my plus one. I feel like I've got to take someone that lives in Monaco. I get along with Damon pretty well. If three ATP players were race car drivers, who would who would get the top three positions? Not me, because I am too big. He'd be number one. Small or light guys, I feel like. I'll put Alex in there. Diego Schwartzman. Schwartzman. You've got to be pretty light, and I reckon he's got some good reactions. Yeah, just be light, light around the corners. Hubert Hurkacz, I know he loves, loves it. driving, and he, he loves the McLarens, and I've seen him 
in ridiculous cars and then... Goffin, I feel like would be a good, he looks like a race car driver. Maybe Dimitrov, number three. He's always driving a nice car. And best best tourist. tourist. Probably Felix. I feel like he's very interested, very culturally interested as well, so maybe him. Probably Stefanos Tsitsipas. One of the best, most fascinating trips of my life. He's always like got a camera in his hand and he loves walking around and I've seen him actually a few times taking some photos. Best, best clay fashion. fashion. Oh, Matteo, Matteo Berrettini. Berrettini. He likes to look good. He does look good as well, so he knows it as well. So he kind of, he's kind of cheeky with it. He pulls it off. All of the stuff he wears really well. Um, also maybe him on court and off court as well. Well, I mean Grigor. Okay. <laughs> what about, is that on court or off court or both? Oh, both. Always Grigor. Uh, always Grigor. If it's fashion, it's Grigor. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you, Hubie. Thank you. We need to get you and Grigor together on camera yeah. at some point. I feel like that would be must-watch yeah. television. Yeah, that would be good. I think it would be something. <laughs>